Chris, to build off Tom and Joanne to your question, that innovation, you know, people always say, you know, can you, can we do this in our school? And they know why did they need to do it. And they know what tools and resources are available, but they never know how to do it within their own community. And they said, how do you do this? I'm like, well, that's, that's up to you. Like <laughs> you have to find ways and like the Tom and Joanne, like Joanne said, give them, them the tools. And Tom said to which kind of pathway do you want to go down? And that's why so many organizations are out there to help school districts find direction they want to go to because it cannot be this stamp program it needs to be organically supportive of that community and when a teacher does come to me Tom they say hey show me how to do this well I'm like all right let's walk how do you think it will look here what do you think let's go through the process of that because when educators have ownership of it uh, that's where you see success where they want to to drive it to the next level that you don't want to just give someone something to innovate because they'll take it and only do some, they'll do what you tell them to do with it. It's the power of when they get it and they take it themselves and transform it based upon their way. That's when you see this, the light bulb and the fireworks go off in education. Yeah. And I think that this is, there's no silver bullet here, Chris. And I think that's what I, th I think both Tom and Justin have said too. This, there isn't a silver bullet for this. This is, this is about hard work and about talking to each other, making real, real connections, really talking and figuring it out in your communities, what really works. And for a long time, we've said, we've tried to just like figure out what is it, what is it going to work and putting it and in, put it into a system and saying that that's it, that's the answer. You know, we've tried so many times to do that. Years and years and years of trying and every country in the world we've tried it. You know, everyone's tried it. We can't do it. The bottom line is we have to work at this. We have to figure it out. We have to do it human to human, person to person and figure out what does each person need because we're not the same. If we were the same, it would have been so easy. We would have done it years ago, but it doesn't work like that. When human, humans aren't the same, we all need something slightly different from each other. And so therefore, that's why education is quite complex. And we just have to accept it. And that we can create a, a really beautiful education system based on individual success ideals for each child. And it's totally possible to do it. We've got countries who are doing it now. 